everybody, GeoArm Security here, and today we're going to show you how to program the Honeywell 5834-4 four-button wireless key transmitter into the Lynx Touch L5210 all-in-one home and business security system. The first thing we're going to want to do is remove the 5834-4 from its manufacturer box. Simply remove the sticker that holds the box together, open it up, and keep in mind, while you're opening this box, make sure you keep all the original packaging in resellable condition in the event that you need to return it. So we're going to go ahead and remove the key fob itself. We're going to place that to the side. And we also want to remove the instructions for the key fob. Remember, keep this, keep this handy uh, just for a while. Now you'll notice on the 5834-4s, the new ones, you'll notice it's it has a little sticker on it that says high security mode must be activated in the control for the 5834-4. So this is in high security mode and I'm going to show you just how to program the key fob when it comes like this. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and select security, more, tools, and we're going to enter in the installer code. By default, it is 4112. You're going to select program. And you're going to go ahead and select keys. You could program it individually through zones, but it'll take longer. And this is a much easier route. So select keys. And you'll notice there's no key fobs at this time programmed into the panel. So go ahead and select add new. It'll take you to this screen here, into the programming screen. You want to make sure that it is a 4 button because we are programming the 4 button, the dash 4. All right, you want to assign a user to it. This is very important. So here you're not actually naming it. You're actually attaching it to an actual user that you've programmed into the panel. We're going to go ahead and use master. And a cool thing about when it assigns a user to the key fob is that any time that this particular key fob uh, which is the master key fob is used in your event history you can go back and see that that uh, that this key fob was used to disarm the system and I'll show you about that as well next we're gonna go ahead and select serial number where we're gonna learn the serial number in and if you open up your instruction manual you will see that each individual key can remove the sticker each individual key will be assigned a loop number so now if you look on your wireless key transmitter installation and setup guide you'll see that the top left button is programmed as loop 3 and loop 2 is programmed as the top right button the bottom left button is going to be loop 4 and then loop 1 is going to be this auxiliary fourth button so that makes it seem a little complicated all we're going to do at this point is we're going to press the top left button and uh, in increments of three so one the panel will acknowledge with a beep two you'll notice that loop three as we told you in the top left will come up along with the serial number located in the back select it one more time and that learns the serial number in now you'll see the first available zone is 140 and button one is zone 140 Zone 2 is 141, 3 is 142, and the auxiliary is 143. So that's why programming it through keys is much easier. It pretty much takes care of all the, the legwork for you. In this particular video, we're going to show you how to program a 24-hour fire panic button. And to do that, uh, and this is going to be programmed into the red asterisk here, or the uh, auxiliary button. To do that, you're going to go ahead and select key 4. You're going to go ahead and scroll down. You're going to select fire, no verification. Select save. You'll see it takes up those zones. You can back out. Allow installer to re-enter programming. Select yes. Now you can go to the home screen. You'll notice that this key is the light is turning red. That means it's in high security mode. To take this key fob out of high security mode, you're going to hold the top right and the bottom two num uh, buttons here for five seconds. I'm going to go ahead and do that for you now. One Mississippi, two Mississippi, three Mississippi, four Mississippi, five Mississippi. Now it should work. Disarmed. Ready to arm. Chime. 
All right, now I'm gonna go ahead and show you the, uh, the 24 hour fire panic button. And you're gonna have to dis, uh, acknowledge from the key fob twice or from the actual panel twice. And you can hear that it has a different audible siren. It's a little bit intermittent. And that's how you program the Honeywell 5834 wireless key fob into the Lynx Touch L5210 wireless security system using the 24 hour fire panic button, uh, which is located in the programming of this system. Please make sure to subscribe to our YouTube page and view our blog at DIYsecurityblog.com. If you need to reach us by phone, our number is 1-877-443-6276.